about the country so do you guys know that uh, within the country we have two small countries within the italy do you name know the names there are two small countries within the italy so anybody knows about this no ma'am no problem okay so the two small countries are san marino and vatican city these are the most smallest countries which can be found in the country italy okay next slide okay so as matra have told us uh, please guys don't annotate on the screen okay so italy it lies in the euro it is a european country okay okay so it is it is basically in the southern europe okay with a long mediterranean coastline and ha that has left really a powerful mark on western culture and cuisine so the capital of the country is rome and it is the home to the most of the vaticans as well so far we will discover the states of the country so do you know how many states are there in the italy can anybody tell me how many states are there in the italy okay donia next slide 20 according to okay so we will look up on the geographic fact of fact of the country so italy is a peninsula in the mediterranean sea its shape has been compared to that of a boot can you see the map of the italy doesn't it look like a boot so yes the map of the italy is compared to that of a boot the entire length of the italy is 1185 kilometers and it extends over a total land area of 3 lakh 1230 square kilometers so it is slightly bigger than the american state or we can compare it with arizona next slide okay so i was talking about the number of states in italy so i must tell you in italy there is only one state okay so the state rest other than that there are only 20 region and out of that five are only autonomy but still they are just regions they are not considered as the states we call them as a regions in the italy next slide okay so as i have told or yes maitra have also told us the land area of the country is 3 lakh 1340 km squares now we will talk about Just the national flag uh who is rudra can you please uh, stop requesting remote control yeah please go ahead vandir yes so the flag of italy which is often referred to as italian tricolor is a national flag of italy so it is tricolor which features e3 equal size of vertical pairs that are green white and red these are the national colors of italy okay so with the green at the high side and is defined by the article 12 on the constitution of the italian republic next slide <laughs> now we will have a quick overview of the history of the country next slide okay so before we the country was introduced as as italy earlier it was known by the name of italia so the greeks gradually came to apply the name italia to a large region but it was during the region of augustus that and at the first century at that term was expanded to cover the entire peninsula until the apes so if i talk about okay next next slide 
if i talk about how old is the country so across a span of more than 3000 years italian history has been marked by episodes of temporary unification and long separation of intercommunal strife and failed empires okay next slide so where did italians come from the ancestors of italians are mostly indo european speakers okay so like they are uh, like example the italic people such as latins umbrian sarti and oscans okay so these were these were in the north and the greek in the south and pre indo european speakers in mainland italy next slide so the capital of the country is rome which is often called as the capo mundi so which means that the capital of the world so the rome covers the area of 1285 km square also the largest city of italy it is the metropolitan city of milan which covers the area of 1575 km squares now talking about the languages of italy italian language or italian italiano romance language these are some languages which are often spoken by the 6 crore people over there so it is the official language of italy so san marino and together the vatican city this language is being spoken in these two smaller countries also okay so national day is second june can uh, somebody help me with the year in which year the tally got republic sorry independent the independence day of italy okay so do you know the independence day of india second june second june second june okay i am asking about the year 1861 1861 Okay, so somebody can tell me the Independence Day of India. Do you know the Independence Day of India? Indian Independence. Fifteen August. Fifteen August. Yes. August fifteen. Yes. Fifteen August. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Great. 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 Okay. Next. Next slide. now we will talk about the government in italy so can anybody tell me the name of the prime minister of italy any guess marigo yes next slide So Mario Draghi he is the prime minister of Italy Now we will talk about the Ma'am you are in a mute John mute Yes ma'am you are okay. on mute Yes ma'am Okay Yes So the population of the country is six point zero four crores. Currency, as you all know, that all the European country have the country currency as euro. Ma'am. Yes. In every country, why this euro currency is there in every country? Because all the European countries has euro. as the currency so as you know we have talked Man, about know, austria france Man, i know because uh, there are five uh, five to six countries in euro now so they have in europe so now so they have the uh, currency euro is over yes yes exactly okay so national sport that is played is football and it is football Yes, yes. 
So football is majorly played in European parts. And talking about the national animal and national bird of the country. So who is the national animal? Fox. Grave. Yes. And the national bird? Italian sparrow. Yes. And what's the national dish of Italy? Who's gonna tell me? What's the national dish? Pasta and pizza. I hope that everybody loves to eat that. Pasta and pizza. Yes. So pasta mm -hmm. and pizza. So pasta. pizza was originated in Italy. I hope you all know this, right? Ma'am, I don't like to eat pasta at all. Okay, okay, okay. That's okay. Ma'am, I so, like. Pizza yes. So pizza yeah, was. Yes, great. So pizza was discovered in Italy in place Naples, Naples. Okay, so it was discovered in the late 18th or 19th century, and after that, it has become the world's like each and every human I hope have loved eating pizza, right? And talking about the another national dish that is pasta. So do you know what is pasta called in Italy? What do they call that dish? What, okay, so I'll tell you. It's known as ragu alla bolognese. What? Ragu alla bolognese. It is called like that in Italian language. Okay, so coming up with the next slide. The climate condition of the Italy is predominantly due to the Mediterranean climate with wild, sometimes have the rainy winters and sunny, hot, and usually the dry summers. Okay, so in this map, you can see the region which is highlighted in the blue, like dark blue is the cold due to the altitude. And the region which is highlighted in red or maroon is the hot temperature of these areas. And the region which is marked as green has a subcontinental temperate okay so i hope the climate is clear with you all guys okay so coming up to the next we will have a look on this video at the end of the session next slide okay so who's going to tell me the national airlines of italy Ma'am, somebody. Air Italy. Ma'am. Yes. Somebody is telling that what what is the meaning of Nival? No, it's uh, it's the place Naples, which is in Italy. That was the place where it, a pizza was discovered. It's the place Naples. Ma'am. Okay, next slide. Ma'am. Yes. Uh, Ma'am. Uh, airline is Air Italy. No. It's Al here on this Al screen. Alitalia. Alitalia. Al 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 so this is the flag carrier flight, uh, flag carrier of the Italy, right? Okay, so somebody is, so anyone here wants to share a fact about the place? Any another fact? Ma'am. Yes. Alitalia ha, uh, has a biggest plane and its color is green and red. Yes. Okay. So, okay, now we will present you a video. Yes. Italy has a free wine fountain. Yes. And Italy is the fifth most visited country in the world. Yes. And Martha, you also told that the country has around 2,500 types of cheese, right? No, ma'am. I was not saying that. Somebody else told it. 
ओके ओके सो नाउ वी हैव दिस वीडियो सो प्लीज प्लीज म्यूट योर माइक्स वी विल हियर योर डाउट्स एट द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो ओके सो बाय द टाइम प्लीज म्यूट योर माइक एंड एंजॉय दिस वीडियो बेस्ट प्लेस Number 10, Naples. One of the busiest metropolitan cities in the country, Naples is the capital of the Campania region in southern Italy. The city of Naples offers a treasure trove of artworks and historic sites, as well as a vibrant atmosphere of shops, restaurants, and nightlife venues. Many favorite Italian foods originated from here, such as pizza, spaghetti, and parmigiana. These dishes are taken seriously in Naples and usually feature fresh, locally grown ingredients. As it is nearby famous sites like the Bay of Naples and Pompeii, Naples presents an ideal base to stay while exploring the area. Number 9 Italian Lake Number 8 Sicily The largest island in the Mediterranean Sea, Sicily is an autonomous region of Italy that also includes several smaller isles. It is separated from the mainland region of Calabria by the 2-mile straits of Messina. Home to every great Mediterranean civilization, Sicily is rich in art and history. From Agrigento's Valley of the Temples to Palermo's Baroque churches, the island's most striking geological feature is Mount Etna, Europe's tallest active volcano. Number 7, Cinque Terre, meaning five lands. Cinque Terre comprises the five villages of Rio Maggiore, Manarola, Vernazza, Monterosso, and Cornelia. Located in Italy's northwestern coastal region of Liguria, the villages of Cinque Terre feature some of the country's most beautiful landscapes that include steep cliff sides and wine terraces dating back to hundreds of years. Among its many gems is a centuries-old complex of hiking paths that offers some of Italy's most stunning coastal views. The Blue Trail is a paved trail connecting all five of the villages and is suitable for all ages.
Ma'am, I cannot the green Number 6. Milan Nearly destroyed from heavy bombing during World War II, Milan has since reconstructed and now shines as one of the wealthiest cities in Europe. Widely regarded as a mega fashion center teeming in designer shops, Milan also attracts many to its surviving world-famous treasures like Leonardo da Vinci's painting The Last Supper, the La Scala Opera House, the Castello Sforzesco, and one of the world's largest Gothic cathedrals. Nonetheless, Milan sometimes appears less Italian compared to the country's predominantly historic cities and more of a glamorous city with modern architecture. Number 5. Amalfi Coast Situated in Italy's southwestern region of Campania, the Amalfi Coast is known for its extraordinary beauty that makes it one of Italy's top tourist destinations. Stretching 30 miles along the southern side of the Sorrento Peninsula, the Amalfi Coast is prized for its picturesque coastline that features shimmering bays, craggy cliffs, lemon tree gardens, multicolored villas, and ritzy resorts. One of the most romantic and posh towns along the Amalfi Coast is Positano, with its beautiful pebbled beaches, pastel houses, and scenic mountains. One of the larger towns, Amalfi, features lovely plazas lined with restaurants, while the town of Ravello is revered for its beautiful villas of gardens and artworks. Number 4. Pompeii One of Italy's most visited tourist destinations, Pompeii is a famous Roman city which was buried under several feet of volcanic ash for nearly 1,700 years after the cataclysmic eruption of Mount Vesuvius. Excavation of Pompeii began in 1748, and the site is yet to be totally unearthed. The site is located near the modern city of Naples. A tour of Pompeii offers a fascinating insight into the everyday life of the ancient Roman world. Visitors can also walk along the ancient streets to see the remains of bakeries, brothels, and baths. Number 3. Venice One of the most beautiful destinations in Europe, Venice is a unique city that is built upon a lagoon surrounded by the Adriatic Sea. Located in northeastern Italy, Venice is an archipelago of 118 islands, all connected by hundreds of beautiful bridges and scenic canals. Of the canals, the Grand Canal is most famous and divides the city into two sections. Picturesque waterways and historic architecture make Venice one of the most romantic cities in the world. Venice is often crowded, but well worth visiting to see its magnificent landmarks like St. Mark's Square and Basilica, Doge's Palace, and Rialto Bridge. One of the most popular things to do is to take a gondola ride along one of its many canals.
Number 2. Tuscany Italy's most famous region, Tuscany conjures images of beautiful rolling hills, olive groves, vineyards, and cypress trees. The many pleasures of Tuscany include tasting wine in Chianti, simply relaxing in hill towns such as San Gingiano, or exploring Renaissance art in Florence. The medieval city of Siena also offers excellent works of art, while its historical center is one of the most popular places to visit in Italy. Elba, the largest of several Tuscan islands, offers great beaches, while Pisa is world famous for its leaning tower. Number 1. Rome Formerly the capital of the Roman Empire, Rome today is the government seat and capital city of Italy. Located in the country's central region of Lazio, Rome is a vast and complex city that is both historic and modern at the same time. Best known for housing ancient Roman structures and the Vatican City, Rome has endured for more than 2,500 years as an important center for culture, power, and religion. From ancient romantic plazas to stunning cathedrals and Renaissance architecture, there is so much to see and do in Rome that it could take months or even years to see it all. I also want to show a video. Okay, so first yeah. let me have the doubts and after that we will see your video, okay? Okay, no worries. Okay, so, okay, so is there anyone who's want to tell me any other fact of the country? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. One by one. Ma'am, can I tell? Yes, yes, please. Mom, one minute, I can talk. Okay, so who else? Ma'am, Italy, I'm Anushka Sharma and Virat Kohli ki shadi. Yes, yes. So there are many Bollywood couples who have got married at that place. Okay, so other than that. Ma'am? Yes. All three Europe's active volcanoes are in Italy. Yes, so most of the active volcanoes are there in the Italy. The European volcanoes, yes. Ma'am, I have a fact. Yes? Ma'am, Italy became a country in uh, 2nd June 1946, ma'am. Yes, so that is the independence year of Excuse the country, me, ma'am. Right? Yeah, yeah. Excuse yes. me, ma'am. Ma'am, why did you remove me, ma'am? Okay, so is there anyone else? Any other doubt? 
Ma'am, it is. Ma'am, someone uh, removed me from the meeting. Ma'am, this ma'am in Italy there is a famous monument, and in this and in that monument, eight hundred people can. Yes, and you know history is best known for its most number of heritage sites. Ma'am, Italy is also fifth most visited country in the world. Yes, in the world, yes, definitely. And do you know that there is a, a fountain in the country that is known as a Trevi fountain? So it is termed as the all the visitors, or we can say, or the tourists that visit this fountain, they uh, they throw some uh, like dollars or euro over there, and each day they collect three thousand euros. Can you imagine the amount? Each day, three thousand euros are collected from that fountain. Ma'am, Italy also has a free wine mountain. Yes, yes. It offers free wine, so that is known as the wine fountain of the place. Ma'am, Italy is the biggest producer of wine. Ma'am, yes. Italy is one of the Western Europe's countries. Can yes. uh, can now I show the video? Yes, sure. You can show your. Italy's video. national flower is um, the lily. Ma'am, uh, please tell the host to uh, able participant screen sharing because here I have get a notification host okay. participant screen sharing. Okay, our team will let you do. Okay. What's his name? Rudra. Just a minute. Okay, so for tomorrow we are going to visit Jordan. We are going to visit Kuwait. What Jordan? Ma'am. Kuwait. 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 Ma'am. Ma'am, what country are we going to visit tomorrow? Ma'am, the video. Yes, yes. Okay, do the play. Ma'am. Ma'am, so table the annotation option. Ma'am, someone is scribbling. Yes, yes. Uh, Ma'am, Ma when we are going to visit USA? So we will be visiting that after, like we are going as alphabetically. Okay. So we are right now at the K. Tomorrow we are going to Kuwait. Ma'am, and where are, where are we going to uh, visit uh, England? Okay, so England and UK. Okay, we will are we are just going there uh, with alphabetically. Ma'am, okay. why didn't they so watch the video? Yes. Yes. Why didn't they got to share the Italy the Italy video? Ma'am, one minute, one minute. Okay, bye everyone. Bye, teachers.